and welcome to another WJCA level physics question. This was question one on the January 2011 unit four paper about gas laws basically and uh, gas laws and so forth and now we're in unit three. So what we've got is a krypton uh, gas bubble formed underwater and we're given various information about the bubble so for example we're given its volume and the number of molecules and the mass of each molecule. We're also given the pressure inside the bubble. And first of all, we're asked to find the root mean square speed of the krypton molecules in the bubble. So here we can use P equals one third rho C squared bar, uh, or we could use PV equals one third NM C squared bar. Basically, they're the same equation, just this one is a simplified version of it. To find the density, we need the total mass of the gas divided by its volume. The total mass of the gas is the number of molecules, 1.7 times 10 to the 20, times the mass of each molecule. 1.39 times 10 to the minus 25 divided by the volume of 2.14 times 10 to the minus 6 meters cubed. That will give us a density of about 11 kilograms per meter cubed. The top equation rearranges to CRMS, the root mean square speed is the square root of 3p over rho. So let's put in the figures, 3 times the pressure of 300 kilopascals, so don't forget the 10 to the 3, divided by that density we've just worked out. And putting that into a calculator gives about 285 meters per second, depending on any rounding. Next we're asked to find the relative molecular mass of the, the krypton gas. And if we remember that the MR is actually the mass of a molecule dif uh, dif compared to the mass of one twelfth of a carbon-12 atom, where one twelfth of a carbon-12 atom is 1u, then this question is very, very simple to calculate. So the MR is going to be the mass of the molecule, 1.39 times 10 to the minus 25, divided by 1.66 times 10 to the minus 27, the value of 1u given in the data book. So if we put that into the calculator, we end up with 83.7 or 84 if you like and remember that the MR has no unit. Next we're asked to find the temperature inside the gas. Now a lot of people attempt this question by using PV equals NRT where little n is the number of moles but in the modern version of the data book we've got a, a quicker way of doing that because we're given this formula PV equals NKT where K is the Boltzmann uh, constant. So to find T is PV over NK. The pressure was 300 times 10 to the 3. The volume was 2.14 times 10 to the minus 6. Number of molecules was 1.7 times 10 to the 20. And Boltzmann's constant is 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. So let's put those into a calculator. And we end up with a temperature of 274 Kelvin to the nearest whole number. Finally, we're, at, we're told that the bubble is initially 20 metres below the surface of the water, and we could explain, given our reasoning, what happens to the size of the bubble as it rises. So the basic idea here is that the external pressure decreases. If we make an assumption that the temperature doesn't change or doesn't change noticeably, so let's put that in brackets say T is constant. Then the volume will increase. Okay, thank you very much for listening. Please remember to like and subscribe and ask any questions you like in the comments below the video. Goodbye.